Hey y'all, it's your girl Kay, your soon to be favorite lock bay, and thank you so much for tuning into my very first beauty video. I'm super, super, super excited that I'm finally creating these looks, creating my channel, and I'm super excited to bring you guys along with me. If you want to see what I'm going to do in my first beauty video, go ahead and keep watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Alright, so for my first beauty video, I am going to kind of like introduce myself while I recreate this look right here. Oh so wow! That is the look I'm going to recreate. Hopefully, y'all can see it. That's the end look. I'm praying that I can do it properly. Just a heads up I am not a professional makeup artist. This is just something that I picked up and I enjoy doing a lot. So, I kind of just wanted to start my channel to record my process and just kind of bring people along with me. I know a lot of the makeup artists nowadays, they're just amazing and they're great channels so that you can learn from. But I wanted to be one of those weirdos that bring you guys along with my progress and see where my end game will be. So I'm super excited to bring you guys along with me. So let's just get right into it. I'm going to actually start with my eyebrows. I'm gonna do them on off camera because I tried, I attempted to make a video and I tried to do my eyebrows on camera and it was the worst thing in the world. So I will be right back. Okay, so my eyebrows are now done and I'm going to start with my eye look. I wanted to create a red lip look today so I definitely am excited. I think I can get this look that I'm aiming for with most of the, a majority of the colors on the Festival palette by Juvia's place palace I believe that's what it is um their their eyeshadow was amazing so let's get right into it I think I just need one color that's not gonna be in this palette but everything else I think I can create so let's get right into it I am going to start by pretty much priming my eye lids with this P Louise Michelle big blank canvas it's like an eyeshadow primer Let's see if y'all can see that I'm going to just go in this is I got this eyeshadow brush from Dollar Tree I literally buy so many of them whenever I go into Dollar Tree because they work when it comes to my eyeshadow looks and I don't have to re wash them all the time so it's just a simple little dense brush so I'm going to just go in with the blank canvas and put it kind of all over my eyelid and you don't need much with this a little definitely goes a long way the reason why I like priming before is so that the look can come out better in my opinion when I don't prime my eyelids it just it just comes out horrible <laughs> So then I am going to go in for my crease and I am going to take the color, I cannot pronounce this y'all, I'm going to just point it out. It's going to be this color right here. This shit says Mo Moana or something what? like that. Bro, what are you talking about man? I wonder what it is now. I'm just now realizing what all these colors are named. This is kind of fire. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead in that color and I'm going to just put it a little bit over my crease. So I have hooded eyelids so it's kind of when I do cut creases it's harder for me to get achieve that look with my eyes open. So what I did learn is that if you kind of work over your crease you'll definitely be able to see the eye look more. So I'm definitely going to go up here and just apply that pink a little bit under the brow bone so it can show. Makeup 
artists who like talk and do this at the same time, I give it to you. Cause I had a little list that I wanted to like touch on certain topics. And honey, let me tell you something. I'm so focused on this eye look. Maybe cause I'm still like a beginner. I just started doing makeup. Well, I'm not gonna say I just started doing makeup. I started taking makeup seriously probably about a year ago. And eyeshadow, it's been like a few months. So, it's definitely still new to me. All right, I think that should be enough. It's a little blended out. All right, so after that, we are going to go in with, with this red color here. It's the darker red. And then I'm just going to pack it all over my eyelid. This is nerve wracking. This is the first time I've ever did like a bright red like this. But the cut crease kind of definitely, not kind of, it definitely like dims the red. Which is kind of what I wanted. See, I got my little red shirt on. I'm going for a theme here, y'all. No. <laughs> All right, so then after that, I'm gonna go in with this last brush that I used and I'm gonna kind of like blend out the corners. So it's more of a seamless look. So now it's time to cut the crease. Your girl is imperfect at this. Let's hope that I get this. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go back in with this base primer so I can cut my crease. I'm going to use the same shadow brush and then I'm just going to grab a little. And I'm gonna go in. So this picture, it's not a full cut crease, it's like half. So I'm going to, I might do full and then just repack my face, my eyelid. So. I fixed it, but all right. So now that that is done, the next step is to pack on some red. So I'm going to go back in with this red, and then I'm just going to pack over. And I feel like I need to put no. I don't. I don't like how this is pink. I want this to be like more of a white. 
So I'm going to go in with another Dollar Tree brush. <laughs> and I'm going to use my Morphe palette. Oh! A whole color just dropped out of this palette. That's the second one. I am sad. Okay. I'm gonna take that out. So I'm gonna go in with this color in the Morphe, the Nature Glow palette. And then I'm just going to pack it all over the lid so it can be more white than pink. Cause I'm not feeling that. I'm not feeling that pink business. on a shit ton of white because I really want it to be white and I think I achieved that so now that the white is on I'm going to go back in with the red and overlay it so I'm just gonna kind of like pat it in I'm not doing too much blending yet This one is longer than this one. And I don't, I, I like this eye better. <sighs> Told y'all I wasn't a professional. This is hard, y'all. I'm not gonna go back in. Cause I literally did that just so I can, yeah, repack. I think that's perfect actually. I am feeling it, I'm feeling it. All right, so the next step that I'm going to take is I'm going to attempt winged liner. Now, this calls for a red liner. I do not have eyeliner, period. So I'm going to use this lip pencil in order to draw my wing. Pray for your girl, I don't know how to do wings. So, we'll see how this goes. <laughs> oh, this color ain't even gonna show. So I'm going to go in. What I'm going to use for my lips, Let's see if I can do it like that. All right, so I'm going to use, this is what I'm gonna use on my lips. It is the Stunna Lip Paint Uncensored by Fenty Beauty. My favorite, this is my favorite, this is my favorite. I'm going to go ahead and use this angle brush to try to get that wing look. I am so nervous. This is my first time ever attempting to do something like this. Let us pray for this look, y'all. Let us pray for this look. try this elf angled brush instead because that brush is making me nervous it's a little too thick did it I'm so excited right, before I get too excited let me let that dry and then I have to conceal so let me and I have to achieve this on the next eye fix 
the inner corner on this eye, but I'm feeling it. I definitely achieved the look with my little beginner self. I'm so excited how this first time came out. Like, I do not know how to do winged liner at all. So the fact that I did it with lipstick is fire to me. It's mad fire. Your girl is getting somewhere. And I'm so excited, I'm documenting it. I can look back at my videos and be like, wow, look at how far you came. I really wish I started from the beginning, but I was nervous because I'm definitely not an extrovert. I'm an introvert and I am very private. So I was definitely wary about starting this channel, but I'm excited I did. And I'm excited I get to bring people along with my journey. And you guys get to see my excitement firsthand. get into my face the face is the easiest part so this is the comp well it's not completed I feel like once you put the lashes on and my face is done it will look a million times better so this is the completed look for now oh wow and then let's get into this face beat so what I am going to start off with is I'm going to use some tinted moisturizer first i use glam glow so i use the color sun glow it is amazing it's a little pricey but definitely worth every cent and i'm just going to go ahead and put that all over so after i put my moisturizer on i'm going to go ahead in with some primer and i use sorry the la girl pro prep there we go. I actually really like this primer. I need to invest in like a really amazing primer, but we'll see. So then after that, um, I am going to go in with some, pri I use the Wet n Wild Primer Water. It's like a three-in-one, a set refresh and primer. I love it. So I'm gonna go ahead in with that and then just spray it all over my face. Let that dry. My little Dollar Tree fan. Feels like I'm at a beach, y'all. I'm so excited how this eye look came out, especially with the eyeliner. I was so nervous. I was super nervous, but it came out pretty decent. So after I let it dry a little, I'm going to go in with some translucent setting powder. I use the LA Girl Pro Powder. And then I just dab a little all over my face. So after that, I'm going to go in with my Born This Way concealer all right so it's the concealer in the color butterscotch maybe you can see that it'll focus on that nope it's weird and what I like to do before I put my foundation on is I like to kind of mask my hyperpigmentation because it's so bad so I'm just gonna go over the really bad spots. Just let it dry a little so I can buff it out. I can't get over this eye look, y'all. I just keep looking at it like, wow, I did that. I created that. Me, myself. <laughs> a year ago, I would never be able to do some shit like this. What? So, I'm gonna let this dry. 
I think I'm actually gonna start mixing my foundation. So what I'm going to do is because while I wait for this drop to dry is I'm going to actually create my foundation shade. My skin is getting a little darker because it's summertime, so the shade that the foundation that I have doesn't match me, which is the Fenty Beauty, the soft, the Pro Filter Soft Matte in the color 385. This usually matches me in the winter time. I think I'm more of a 390, 395, I believe, in the summertime, but I haven't been able to go into stores in order to color match my face because we're in quarantine. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take a half a pump of that and then I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Fit Me, the matte poreless in the color 338. And then I'm going to add a little bit of that and then I'm just gonna mix it. And you just literally need like the littlest bit. I don't use a lot of foundation, especially in the summertime it is hot your girl wants to try Laura Mercier is like my favorite brand besides Fenty but I definitely I heard that their SPF foundation is amazing um sorry it's a, like a tinted moisturizer I believe it's an SPF tinted moisturizer and I heard that is amazing and once the stores is open your girl is definitely going to go try it and make my little purchases for the summer even though I'm sure we're not gonna be having such a mixy summer but I could be cute in my friend's backyard we're gonna go ahead and definitely conceal on my hyperpigmentation now that that is done I'm going to take whatever was on the q-tip and kind of just put that on my face and then I'm going to go in with my Fenty, wow, I use this brush a lot, my Fenty foundation. I think it's 115, I'm sorry, the, the numbers are kind of rubbing off, but I think it's the 115, um, yeah, the 115 foundation brush as the fluffier one. I like this one better than the, sh the thinner that kind of looks like a paintbrush, because I just feel like this buffs out more. I'm just going to go ahead and apply the rest of the foundation. And then I am going to actually take some setting spray. I'm going to use the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. And I'm going to just lightly dab, dab some on. And then just go ahead and go in. Not too worried about under my eyes when it comes to covering myself with the foundation because I'm going to go in and conceal. Now that that is done, I feel like that's more than enough foundation. I am going to go in with my concealer. And I'm just going to take that same concealer and just kind of highlight. Go ahead and let that dry down a little. Back to being on the beach. All right, so now that I believe my sealer dried down a little bit, I'm going to go in with my Fenty Beauty 180 concealer brush. I don't know what is going on today, but the sun is not cooperating with me. And the fact that my window is right here, right in front of my vanity, it's messing everything up. And I'm just gonna start buffing. I think I wanna let this dry down a little more. Yeah. So 
I'm gonna start up here. I'm gonna go in with another brush to kind of buff those corners out because I don't wanna mess up the eyeliner that I did. So I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. It's a e.l.f. concealer brush, super little. And I'm just gonna kind of The one thing that I don't like about this e.l.f. concealer brush is how much product it picks up. So if I don't constantly like wipe the brush, it's gonna be so much product just dragging along and it messes up the look. Concealer kind of kind of messed up my eyeliner on the bottom a little. Just so I can go back in and straighten it. There we go. So I'm done with that. Next, I'm going to go in with my Fenty Beauty setting powder. I use the color Honey, and then I'm just going to take my beauty blender and pack a little and just kind of press it in. I don't like to press a little too hard because I'm gonna go in after with my setting brush and kind of just wipe away the excess. But I always like my under eye to be highlighted. So after that, I am going to go in with my 170 setting brush from Fenty Beauty as well. And then just go ahead and wipe off that excess setting powder that's all over my face. I feel like I look like a freaking ghost with some devilish eyes right now. But that's okay, cause we about to warm that face up, y'all. We about to get to my favorite part. Get to my favorite part. We about to contour this face. So what I use for my contour is I use the black radiance. Look at my, my eyeshadow palette that broke earlier. It's just right there. <laughs> so we're gonna go into my black radiance true complexion cream contour and then I'm going to go ahead and use this color. I have the medium to dark palette. And what I'm going to do is with my Real Techniques 303 contour brush, I got this at TJ Maxx. Greatest place. Can't wait for it to open. I'm just gonna suck my lips and just get right into that crease because I like to make my face. You feel me? I was blessed with these high cheekbones and I want everybody to see them. Period. <laughs> And then I'm gonna make my forehead into a three head. It's really a five head. But you know, we're gonna get it a little down. You feel me? So after I do that, that's the brush I use to apply the product. And then I go in with my Real Techniques Medium Sculpting Brush. Is it gonna focus? Not today. And then I'm just going to go ahead and buff that out. So we're just gonna kind of blend in that contour so the lines aren't harsh. And then after that, we are going to get into some bronzer. I used the Fenty Beauty Caramel Cutie. That's me. You know, that's awesome. 
and I am going to use their bronzer, their 190 bronzer brush. I have to clean my brushes, please excuse me. And then I'm just going to go in and kind of like highlight over where I contoured. Not a lot of bronzer. I already have a lot of product on my face. So after that, I go in. What do I do after I do bronzer? I go in with my blush. So I kind of wanted to use a red blush, but I feel like that might be a little too much red, especially since I'm doing red lips. So what I'm going to use is my NYX Sweet Cheeks Bang Bang Blush. One day it'll focus for y'all. But today ain't the day. I'm trying. <laughs> right, and then after that, I kind of, I don't know why I do this, but I kind of go back in with my ultimate blending brush. And then I just dab it to make it a little more seamless. And make the lines less harsh. So next, I am going to go in with my mascara, and we're gonna get to the, the best part, the lashes, honey. So I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty Full Frontal Mascara, and it's actually pretty good. I'm just going to lightly do a kind of a coat for my regular nat lashes, just so it blends easier with my falsies and I like to put it on before so I can definitely preserve my lashes you don't need all that mascara to be built up on your falsies while I let that dry I kind of didn't smudge my under eye but I don't think I'm going to I kind of like it like this we'll see how it looks after I put my lashes on so today I'm going to be introducing you guys to my lash line K Lavish Lashes. This is Lash Style Lavish. And these are from my 25 millimeter collection. They are amazing. You can wear them up to 10 times. They are mink lashes. I feel like you can get, I get more wears than 10 times, but I also take really good care of my lashes. So I'll definitely, if you guys want, I'll drop a care video on how to preserve your lashes. And then y'all can be out here slaying all the time. All the time. All right, so these mink lashes, they're definitely very affordable. They're $13. I wish you guys can see them better. But yeah, let's get into me putting my lashes on. So I am actually going to be reusing an older pair. Those are brand new, fresh out the box. I just wanted to give y'all the real deal. So I guess y'all can watch me kind of clean my lashes clean and just get them prepped to be reused so what I like to do is that's that's what my older lashes you see all that glue on it I kind of like to pick it off them then the night of but I was kind of lazy so I like to take some alcohol and go ahead and rub it right where the glue is and then I'll use a pointier a really pointy tweezer to go ahead and just pick that glue off and you just got to be careful to not get that band that's there so my my battery actually just died so I'm going to go in with my duo lash glue and I'm just going to apply it right on the lash band I'm just gonna let it sit for a little while. Do a glue for it to work amazing. You have to let it dry a little. I like to wait a minute at least. So I'm gonna just go ahead and apply the lash glue to the other lash as well while this one is drying. While that's happening, I'm actually going to start lining my lips so I can put my red lip on. So I'm gonna try this. I'm not 100% sure how it's gonna work. But I'm going to go ahead in with a coffee colored lip pencil. I use a beauty supply store one. It was a dollar. So. I'm just going to let that be 
in there. And let me put this eyelash on before it over dries. While that dries, I'm gonna go back in and like make it a little straighter so you can see my eye look a little more. I'm going to go in with my Stun Lint Paint Uncensored. Definitely need my hair out for this look. All right, so let me just set my face so I can put my concealer, I mean my, what you call it, my highlight on. <laughs> I'm gonna go back in with my Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. And then I'm going to take my e.l.f. highlight brush. And this is the I believe it's the ice cream highlight, the hyper reflective highlighting palette. It's a little ice cream is on top, it's really good. And then I'm going to go in with this pink color. And just get my cheeks. A highlight for the gods. I might change my lip color. For some reason, I'm just not feeling it. And the look is completed. But is the look completed until you've finished everything? I think not. I don't like these lips. I'm going to change my lips. I'm sorry, y'all. I just don't. I feel like this is just so overpowering that these lips are just a no for me. But I will go in. with a red lip liner. All right, so I'm gonna try to just go in with my Kiss by Brit Clear Lip Gloss, it's amazing. I'll definitely leave the link below for these. They're definitely long lasting, they're super amazing. And cruelty free, y'all. better that's so much better that is so much better it's just duller them lips was out there boy them red lips you can't do uh, a bright well you probably can I just don't feel comfortable all right so I'm just gonna go ahead and do my hair off camera and then I'll come back with the final and complete look be right back y'all all right, so I am back and here is the final look. I am so excited on how well it came out. Let's give y'all a little close up. All right, got into the eyes. Full beat. I'm so excited how well the eyes came out. Thank you so much if you guys watched all the way to the end. If you did, go ahead and leave a comment below and let me know what y'all think. I would just want to thank you guys for just taking the time out and watching my video. And I can't wait to just provide more content for you guys. Definitely more stuff is going to be coming with my hair and obviously more eye looks. I'm going to give you guys one last look at what I was trying to achieve. And I think I did it and then some. So that was the final look and there is the look that we created y'all so thank you so much for watching I'll catch y'all in the next video